welcome. Happy Wednesday. It's Wild Wednesday. I'm so glad you can join me. I am so excited to be here once again. A lot of people call Wednesday hump day. They call it hump like a camel because it's the middle of the week. So it's perfect to have a wild day. So we're going to be wild today and we are going to create some wild owls. Now, if you were here with me last week, we already practiced the owl because I really didn't expect to be back again this week. But I'm here with my silly glasses that I made. I made them on a tag board and my handy dandy duct tape, you know, our Cleveland Browns that we love so much. I just made some silly glasses. I don't think they're going to last long. I'm having trouble seeing out of them. But you guys can always try and create your own later. Uh, so they're silly. I couldn't get them to fit right, so I'm, they're kind of taped to my face. And But again, it's an experiment. It's just something to do, something to explore, uh, and something fun and silly. And then I just happen to have these wild, wild Wednesday feathers as a mask I had in the basement. I was like, oh, these will go. Me and, me and my owl are going to match, kind of matching but opposites, right? So... Anyway, um, we're going to talk about just different ways you can create your owl. Before I start today, I want to tell you those F names and PH names for our flamingo. Yesterday were fantastic. The name of our flamingo from yesterday is Fabrizio. It was the family from Jamaica who's come and watch us every single day. Fabrizio, I love that. It's so tropical. My Fabrizio flamingo. So he's back on the deck, and every time I see him, I'm going to think we're Fabrizio, and I'm going to pretend I'm in Jamaica. So anyways, thanks so much. That was so fun. And let's see, let's, you guys just want to jump in and get started. Any supplies you have, if you've never joined us before, use what you have. It could be a pencil, colored pencils, crayons, highlighters, markers, peanut butter and jelly, whatever. No, don't ask permission first. But, uh, you know, I mean, whatever you can create with. So mustard and ketchup. I, you know, I used to mix mustard and ketchup together. What color would you get? I have red ketchup and yellow mustard, and you mix it together. And you get orange. So I'm not saying waste your food. Don't waste your food. I'm just telling you, use whatever you have, okay? So you guys, there goes my tape. So it's coming off. All right. Surprise! This is Denise. Hi, guys. And there's my my lovely tag board glasses with some scotch tape. I knew it wouldn't last long. So, all right. Now that I'm, oh, let me see if I want to tell you guys something else. Yeah. I don't know what I do with it. Yesterday, before we start the cartoon and the drawing, yesterday we did flamingos. So speaking of Fabrizio, we practiced our cartoons. And I didn't add a tail. Does that mean you don't add a tail? No, that means if you want to have a tail, have a tail. If I don't want to have a tail, I'm not going to have a tail. Totally up to you. You do what you want. It doesn't have to look exactly like mine. But if you want to add a tail, I just went, bloop, bloop. Okay, so that is my tail, just to make some of you happy. If you don't want to have a flat back, give them a little tail. And I was just going to show you guys. All right, so I'm going to put my little owl friend down for now. Here, if you wanted to make, again, it depends on how much paper you have, how much canvas you have. You could always do Fabrizio Large, okay, and make a big flamingo with a background. And now I think you guys get the idea of how to make a background. Okay, so and think real big, simple shapes. Practice first, but you could always make a big flamingo if you want to. Maybe one day we'll do that. But I just wanted to get give you guys some ideas that you can change what it is that I do. It doesn't have to look like mine. And now everybody else is too. You want to do it? Do it. You don't have to ask. You don't have to ask permission to draw. Again, you have your family with you. I don't want to tell you to go make some orange with ketchup and mustard. I'm just. You talk to your family and ask permission about doing certain things. So my feathers are for Wild Wednesday because I wanted, you know, feathers and owls. So I thought it kind of was wild. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is do a practice. Warm up my hands. Warm up. Mm -hmm. All right. After I warm up my hands, uh, I'm going to do my practice drawing today larger so you can see it. Here's a little one that's just computer paper. It's eight and a half by 11. This one's a little larger, so it's easier for you guys to see. So the owl's shape for the body is 
an oval, but kind of like an egg. So if you guys have ever seen an egg, it's, you know, rounder and narrower at one end. So if you think of an egg, the narrower part of an owl would be at the bottom and then it gets wider and then comes back at the top. So I'm going to start with a black marker. Use whatever you have, but try not to block the screen. I'm going to go down, 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 down. Now I'm going to come, so if you want to add a scarf, so look, I just did like that, a partial oval. If you're going to add a scarf, and I'm using marker, so I'm going to go out a little bit. So I know my scarf is going to want to be right around that area. Oh, I forgot my scarf. I was going to wear a scarf today. It's in the other room. I was trying to get ready, and then I got sidetracked with the, sun, the glasses. So, all right. Was, if you have a scarf, throw a scarf on just, just for fun. And then, so I would do like make the scarf come out a little bit here. Again, you don't have to, but I'm going to do it now because I'm working in marker. You can always just do your oval and add the little dent later. So this is where my scarf is going to be. And again, it just gives me an idea proportionately of how to place all the parts. Then I'm going to go down, 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 and around, and up, and connect. And the only reason why I didn't do it all at one time is because I don't want to block the camera so you can see it. Okay, and the reason why I did a little dense is for the scarf. Again, so I know it'll help me place the parts of his eyes, his nose. So where I put those dents, if you were with me yesterday, was it yesterday we did the tree? Yeah, the palm tree. And remember, I showed you how to do the curve line to make it look dimensional. So I'm going to do the same thing with the scarf. I'm going to go, think of it like a giant smile. 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 Okay, and it's a little lopsided. It's hard to draw from the side. So that's going to be his scarf. Do you have to have a scarf? No, you do not have, you could have a necklace. You could have nothing at all. So here's the, you know, the bottom part of the scarf. Some fringe. And again, you could do a pattern on a scarf or not. Totally up to you. You could do hearts. You could do stars. So I'm going to curve them again to make it look dimensional. So dimensional means it's not flat. Even though we know it's flat, it gives the illusion that it's dimensional. So it's giving the illusion that it's three-dimensional. Just like when you go to see a 3D movie, it looks like it's coming at you, but it's really not. It's really a flat screen, but they created it to make it look three-dimensional. What's three-dimensional? We're three-dimensional. This marker is three-dimensional. This paper is two-dimensional. It's flat. So I'm going to do curve line, curve, curve, curve. Now, once I get around the middle, that is going to be more vertical. And then I'll flip it and make the curve go the other way. Curve, 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 curve. And that gives my scarf a little bit of a look that it's actually wrapping around the neck. And then you can do the same thing on the bottom part of the scarf. Eyes. Do your eyes have to be round? No. Can you use some tape to trace? Sure. Am I going to tell you what size tape to use? No, because I don't know how big your paper is. Find something round if you want and trace it if you want or draw it freehand. Totally up to you. So I'm going to do a circle. And another circle. And if you guys were here with me when we did Starry Night, I did a crescent moon in my Starry Night. So the inside of his eyes look like a crescent moon. They kind of look like a crescent moon or a half circle. So I'm going to do a crescent moon, a crescent moon. And then a good shape for his beak is any shape you want to use. It could be a silly round beak. It could be a square beak. I'm going to do a diamond shape. So a diamond, here's a scrap piece. Of, here's my scrap from, this is what I use today for my uh, glasses. So a diamond shape is, if you guys draw a triangle, and then you do an upside down triangle, you have a diamond. Okay, so that is an easy way to make a diamond. I'm just practicing on scrap paper. So if you have any scrap paper. So you could, but does it have to be a diamond? No. So I'm just going to do a diagonal line, diagonal line, diagonal line, diagonal line, or two triangles together make a diamond. So there's my little diamond nose. Got it? So now we have 
the basic owl. If you want to add a branch because he's sitting on a branch, you can add a branch. We did trees also. So, uh, you know, I'm just going to make him sitting on something. This is going to be my branch. Speaking of branches, have you looked outside lately? Have you looked at those buds? Wow, mine are definitely bigger than they were a week ago. That's amazing. That means spring's coming. Well, spring's here, but it doesn't feel like it's so much in Cleveland. But I know it's coming because those little buds are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I love spring, especially when, you know, the sun's out. It's not out right now. Um, all right, so let's just do, you know, think of a V or a W like we did before. So that would just be... A basic branch. Does it have to look like that? No. Can you put leaves down there? Of course you can do leaves. Could you do tall grass? Of course you do. Whatever you want. I'm going to throw this word out there. I think it's uh, a big word. Nocturnal. I'm pretty sure owls are nocturnal. Nocturnal. If you know what that means, fantastic. If you don't know what it means, you can look it up. Figure it out. See if you can. I wonder what nocturnal means. All right. I wonder what eat, uh, owls eat. So anyway, there's our owl, and I thought I don't. I want to make sure you guys can catch up. We can do something silly again. Alexa, play "Born to Be Wild." <laughs> so I don't know if you guys have noticed, but people would say, "Oh, my Alexa went on. My Alexa went on." So I thought maybe we could do it again. I don't have an Alexa. I can't play music while I'm on here because of the copyright on the music. So they would just take the sound off. And that means you guys would be watching me without sound. So you could still do the video, but I don't think it would be as fun if you couldn't hear me. Maybe it would. I don't know. Maybe you have me on mute right now. I'm not sure. So, all right. There we have that. That was our practice. So... Are you ready to do the real thing? I'm gonna do it on canvas. The layout of my canvas I have in portrait or vertical up and down, all right? Does that mean you have to? No, you can do it however you choose. I'm gonna do the same thing. So now I'm just doing it again. I might go a little faster, okay? My marker doesn't work as good on canvas as it does on paper, but I'm gonna try. So again, think of that egg shape. I would recommend you can do yours first in pencil if you want. That's where my scarf is. I always have pretty big eyes. So make sure your circles are pretty big. eyeballs did anybody get born to be wild on their Alexa Yesterday we were listening to Beach Boys, right? Beach Boys. And then don't forget the diamond nose, two triangles together. Any size. And then I'm gonna do um, a curved line. This is a curved vertical line. Once I get to about the middle, it's gonna be straight up and down. So curved, curved, and then opposite, kind of like parentheses. You guys know parentheses? Kind of like parentheses, but in the middle, it's vertical, straight. Then the bottom of a scarf. Some fringe. And then don't forget about the crescent moon. Do they have to be crescent? No, they can be whatever kind of eyes you want. I would just recommend they're big, big owl eyes. And then again, you could put your, hi, you could put your branch if you want to do a branch.
Now today, if you guys have paint, fantastic. If you don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm a master to Alexa. One day I'm going to get an Alexa. I don't know. Again, I'm not great in technology. It sounds simple, but how about hooking it up? I mean, if it, you can plug it in and it works, I can do it. But if it takes any kind of programming, yeah, I, I might not be so good at it. So uh, anyway, so here's our owl. My palette, and I'm sure that, oh, like half the colors I didn't put on there yet. So I'm starting pretty basic. So I have some blue, some yellow, some black, and some white. And... So there's three primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. With red, blue, and yellow, you can pretty much make a lot of different other colors. You can make the secondary colors. So you can do yellow and blue would make what? I heard you. That was green. I heard you say green. So if you took yellow and red and mixed them together, what would you get? Yes, you would get orange. And then if you took red and blue together, you would get purple. So if you have the primary colors and some white and some black, that's fantastic. If you have all the colors, fantastic. If you have zero colors, that's fantastic too. So you guys can, again, experiment, do it in pencil, color pencil. You can do this exact drawing in any supplies that you have. I still want you to do it with me. Um, just, you know, do it with whatever you have. So this one's pretty simple in that you could start in any place that you want. I'm going to use the brown brush today. A lot of the times I'm using a square brush, which is a square flat brush. This one is called a round paint brush. It's a point. I'm going to do the inside of his feathers first. Okay. Oh, let me show you some samples. Let's see. I showed you my silly one. Oh, I forgot to. Here. Let's flip. Oops around hello all right so there's one and then I showed you guys that one oh I got this one too let me show you this one okay so I was just doing this one this morning and because I want to give you ideas of different this is called inspiration I just want to give you guys ideas so what happened I moved it while it was wet and I smudged his eye did I have a meltdown no I thought it looked like a girl. So look at that. That would be like a little girl eye. Kind of looks like little eyelashes. And then this could be like a boy eye or not. So I smudged it, but I didn't fix it because I wanted you guys to see. And again, I make mistakes too. But this one is a lot of black, white, gray, light yellow. This one is way more bold. This one has no scarf, no branch. This one does. You do your own thing. You guys tailor it, customize it to however you want. Could you be sitting on the top of a barn? Yeah, you want to put a barn or a roof? You could put your house roof back there. Um, you could, again, be creative. You could be at a castle, you know, some kind of a castle. I'm not going to say what kind of a castle. Maybe a castle like that castle. Maybe that's what your owl's sitting on, okay? Could your background of your owl be starry night? Of course it could be starry night. Could you put a moon in your background? Of course. So again, I'm trying to give you enough tools and thinking to think outside the box. So, oh, wait, it's unfairy. I have this fancy gadget here, see? Look at my fancy gadget. Think outside the box, you guys. Think about your different ideas. There's no right or wrong. Just be creative, get creative, and go for it. All right, I dropped my brush. So let's start with his feathers. The reason why I want to show you that was I'm going to do him green so that, uh, not green, gray, gray. I'm going to do him gray so that you can see. So, but again, I want you to think about what color he's going to be and what color your background's going to be because you want to have contrast. You put a bow tie on yours. I love it. Yay. You can have a bow because you have a bow tie, you know, on his head, sure, or her head, whatever it is. So think about the color of your owl and you want to have contrast. So if you do your owl gray, you don't want your background to be gray. But I'm going to do my owl gray so you can see it. So I'm going to scoop up some white and a little bit of black. When you're mixing color, you always want to have more of the light color and a tiny bit of the dark color. If you put too much of the dark, it's going to be pretty dark. So again, I'm going to just paint in Everywhere I want my owl to be gray. Is that showing up? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to go around his eyes. I'm going to go around his nose. Fill it in. And again, if you're on paper and you're going to leave it white, fine. 
my brush strokes are going in the direction that I would think the feathers would be going in. So I'm just turning it. I'm following the line of my owl around the eyes. Your owl could be looking up, sideways. He could be looking down. He could have glasses on. Did I hold you up one with glasses on? You guys can have an owl with glasses on. Do the bottom part also. I just painted over my fringe because it's easier. I'll just add my fringe later. You want to paint around your friends, go ahead. Or you can just paint over it and then paint it in later. It's good practice. So let's see what else I want to tell you guys about tomorrow. Do you want to talk about tomorrow? Are you going to join me tomorrow? I hope so. Live at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. Tomorrow, we're going to go to France, you know, with our imagination. We're going to go and we're going to visit Claude Monet, another one of my favorite artists. So tomorrow is Thursday Monet Day. So I hope you come back tomorrow. We're going to paint Monet's bridge. Oh, let me put this down. Hold on, I'll show you. Monet's bridge. And again, just try. Have fun. This is my... I have simpler ones. Okay, that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. And so I hope you join me. I did ask if you guys were uh, able to do this. I asked if you could create a watch party. I have never done it. Someone told me it would be a good idea to try. So I said, I'll give it a try. So I asked a few of you, I hope it's working. Maybe you can message in and let me know if you're doing a live watch party. Uh, also, I don't, you know, again, it only took me almost two, a week and a half to figure this out. So I was able to put this link at the top of my Facebook page. So even though photos are posting and stuff like that, they can post under that. So you guys can always go to the Facebook page. I'll put the link right at the top. It'll stay there for the next day. And then that way, if you can't find it, it's always right there. Usually if you can't find it, it's because something I did wrong. So uh, again, I'm learning as I go. We're all learning together. My little niece, Rachel's manning the controls at her house. So she's doing all the messaging. She's responding to you guys. So she had a crash course in how to do it all. And her mom, Darcy is my sister. She's a teacher in Willoughby and they're doing it together. How's he's looking a little crooked. Does he look all right? Okay. So then again, your eyes and I like to work light from, from light to dark. So if I were going to do his eyes yellow. I'm gonna, so I would go from that background into his eye color. So this crescent moon, think of the moon, that would be yellow. People always wanna use black first because it's so bold, like to outline, because they don't, they don't like to see the rough edges. Outline at the end. I know you wanna see it and it looks nice, but then the black gets in everything. So just be patient, try to work from light to dark. I want you guys, you guys can also be thinking of something right now. You could, could I do his beak yellow? Sure, you could do his beak yellow. I'm gonna do mine black later, it'll show up better. You can do any color pattern you want on his scarf. Um, I forgot to put color on mine. So, I'm gonna let you guys name my owl today. The only thing is, I want to start with the letter O. Am I, like Ollie. I want you guys to name the owl. Okay, name my owl today. All right, so a pattern. A pattern could have three colors, it could have four colors, it could have two colors. I'm just gonna keep mine simple and I'm gonna do uh, pink and green, pink and green. And you know what else, someone, I try to answer all your messages and questions. If I can, I really, really try. And if I miss you, I'm sorry. So someone said, what do we do with all the leftover paint? 
I should have told you this from the beginning. You can use foil, aluminum foil or saran wrap to cover it, or you can take another plate and put another plate on top of it. So the air is what dries it out. So anything that you would use to like wrapping food, okay, that's how you would protect your paint. So you don't have to throw it out every single day. So there's my pattern. So right now I patterns white, pink, white, pink, white, pink, white, pink, white, pink, white, pink. But I want another color. So I'm going to use some green. Make sure it's showing up on the screen for you guys. Oliver, Ali, uh, Olivia, Octavia, Orlando, Oscar. Think silly. Something silly. Those are too serious. And then do their, your pattern at the bottom, too. We like to be silly when we can. All right. So before I use the black, remember I want to use my other colors first, even though you, I know you guys want me to get his eyes done. So I can go to the black. I'll do my eyes yet now. And then and I can outline it to you just so you can see it. Ophelia, that's a cool name, Jeff. Good job, Jeff. I like that, Ophelia. All right, um, so I'm gonna just start with my black just so you can see it a little bit better. So in this area, and yours can look different. Could it, does it have to be black? No. Maybe one day next week we'll do portraits. A portrait is a face. Okay, and then you could do a diamond nose or a different shaped nose. You can outline it if you want to. Now I'm not gonna do the outside outline because I'm gonna paint around it. I don't want the black to get in my paint. I know I go fast. And I don't expect yours to look like mine. Oakley for the owl and love your artwork. <laughs> oh, that's so much. Thank you, Holly. Thank you. I can't cry. When I, you guys, I woke up with such beautiful compliments. And I was like, it's not even 7 a.m. and I already have tears. But they're tears of joy. You guys are bringing me so much joy. You're so kind to each other. And you compliment each other and you compliment me and it just makes me so happy. So um, thank you. I'm having fun, you guys. I really am. I'm having fun doing this. I'm having fun being silly. I haven't worn this mask in forever. So I was in the basement. I was like, oh, this could be feathers. Um, so let's have fun. You could have a dress up day. You guys could do themes, do a theme dress up day and then dress. That's what I was trying to do yesterday. I know you guys are in your pajamas. So thank you for those of you guys that wore your beach attire yesterday. And don't forget pajama party is Friday. So Friday wear your pajamas, even though you've been in them all week. I wish I had silly pajamas. I really don't. Last time people didn't even know I was in my pajamas. Those were. Only I'll find pajamas that look more pajama-y. <laughs> I need the Bob Ross hair. So, and then the background, I'm actually just going to take my dirty brush and scoop up some blue and paint my background. Does yours have to be blue? So you see how it's darker? Cause I had black on my brush, but I want it darker around my owl so that it has contrast. Okay. And again, eventually once I get all the way around that black is pretty much going to be worn off and it won't be as dark. Again, you could do the starry night background. Your owl could be, you know, in a blizzard. He could be in Jamaica. He could be in the 
Florida Keys. Thank you guys from the Florida Keys for your wonderful compliments. They said, if I'm ever in the Florida Keys, look them up, but they're going to give me a great big hug. That was very sweet. So, you guys, if you're messaging in, say where you're from. And then, you know, later, again, we're going to definitely go live with you guys if you want. And um, here's what you have to do. If you mute it, then I can't hear you. But what I want you to do is turn your volume down so that um, it's really quiet so that it doesn't echo on the computer and we can still hear you. So you, all you have to do is come on the screen, say where you're from and show us your artwork. That's all it is. And then, you know, we can get more people on there um, because it's so fun. I love seeing your stuff. Do I, again, do I expect you guys to be this far? No, I have done this owl a hundred times, okay? So I do not expect you to be this far and I do not expect you to have it look like this. Yours is gonna look like yours, mine's gonna look like mine. There's no right or wrong. Everyone's looks different. And if you've been looking at all the amazing pictures, again, they're all different and that's what makes art so amazing. It's more about the process than the product. That means it's more about having fun, relaxing, forget about life for a while. I think there's a song like that or something like that. But you know, just this is what you do. It's, it's just to be mindful. Just think about what you're doing, creating, enjoying. Think about relaxing, having fun with your family doing it by yourself, however you're doing it. Think about how you're feeling right now. Are you feeling better? I know I feel better when I paint. It, it just, it relaxes me so much. So does music. Between the music and the painting, it really, really makes me feel better. And you know, you guys still have to be careful on there. And you know, if so many people were telling me that their kids are not on Facebook, which is, that's okay. You know, because there's people, you know, I believe mostly good people, almost 99% of the people have been amazing, but they're, they don't want you on certain things for your own protection. And you know, even me, I'm, I think I'm pretty wise. But I was just telling my niece, Rachel, who's man in the control, the more you know, the more you know, you don't know. So that goes for me too. And today someone was pretending to be someone else and it was like a nonprofit grant uh, for me to apply for. And, you know, again, I thought I was smarter than that and I fell for it, right? And I then afterwards I was like, how could I do that? How could I fall for that? I'm smarter than that. So that's, you know, even though most of the people are good, there could be, always be someone looking to get something from you. And you have to be careful and trust your family that they know what's best for you. Even though when you're 17 or 18, you think you know it all. So again, the more you know, the more you know you don't know. So I just want you guys to be careful out there. Uh, let's see what else. So you know what I do? This is actually really fun. And I don't say if you're using paint, don't do it till the end. But you guys know if you mix all your colors together, what you're going to get? You're going to get like chocolate pudding. Don't eat it. It's not really chocolate pudding, but it turns into a muddy brown color. So you can make your own. If you don't have brown paint, which I don't have brown paint, I'll take some yellow. I'll mix some black in it. It's starting to turn brown. Maybe I'll put some blue in there. Hmm, now it looks a little bit more gray. Maybe I'll put some pink in there. Hmm, that looks a little bit better. Does it look like pudding? Well, it depends on what color you want your tree to be. So just keep mixing. And again, you don't have to do it, but it's really fun. So I love mixing colors and experimenting. Okay, and again, you can, you can change the, your tree and make it what, it could be an imaginary tree. Again, it doesn't even have to be a tree.
then I'll just go back and outline around my owl. And you know, I just want to say something also. So my little niece, Rachel, who's 17, she's graduating from high school this year. My nephew, Richie is 22. He's graduating from the University of Dayton. And like so many, so many kids who are in sports, who are in school, who are have worked for four years so hard. Uh, you know, I'm sad for you as well. I am, you know, you guys have worked so hard and I'm sorry that you're not graduating. And, you know, we'll all celebrate together when all this is over. And for now, you know, we'll do other things. We'll have, you know, again, I highly recommend you guys do something virtual together. Um, my friends and I, we were doing an app last night where we were all on together. You guys are way ahead. Uh, my friend's kids were like, oh, that's been around for 10 years. So I had never heard of it. No surprise. When I need technology help, I go to my niece and nephews. They know it all. Or so they think. <laughs> ah. How are we doing on our owl? Did we come up with some good names? I should let you guys vote on it. But I saw some good ones when I was looking. And remember, if you have a question, go ahead and ask it, and then you guys answer each other. What's she doing? Why is she doing an owl? Why is it Wild Wednesday? Why are we going to France tomorrow? Who's Monet? Who's Van Gogh? What's Starry Night? I can't draw. I'm not even going to try. I hate art. So here's the thing. Don't let anyone tell you you can't draw. Don't let anyone tell you you can't make something. Okay. And that includes your own voice in your head. Yes, you can. You give it a try. But you know what really makes me sad is when I hear that someone's art teacher told them that they were usually someone around my age who comes to one of my paint parties and they say well, when they were little, their art teacher told them that they were not good in art and then they never wanted to make art again. And that breaks my heart. So if someone tells you you can't do something, including yourself, don't listen. Put that aside. Get, I can do it. I can do it. I told you yesterday, you guys, I went surfing. It was so hard to surf. All right. I don't expect to go and be in a surfing competition, but I'm going to do it again. One day I'm going to surf again and maybe I'll get a little better. So just keep trying, keep practicing. That's with anything you do. Keep practice. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Okay. Think out of the box. Uh, let's see what else I got to tell you guys. That was pretty easy, right? We got through that pretty quick today. I will name Al Albert. Oh my gosh. Lee Ann. Lee Ann Albert. You guys see that? That is awesome. That might be the winner. That is thinking outside the box. Oh my gosh. I love that. Uh, let me see if I had one with glasses. Oh, well, here's. Oh, yeah, here's one with glasses. So here's this one, okay? This one to me was kind of creepy. So see how different his eyes are? But I thought he looked a little surprised. So I thought, eh, he's a little scary looking. And then I have this guy. Oh, I forgot something else. How about this guy? Do you guys know who that is? And then, you know, I kind of messed up my hair when I was doing, um, you know, the crazy glasses, but I wanted to show you something. Surprise, look at that, you know what that is? Zzz, it looks like a Z to me, but I, it was hidden under my bangs, hmm, like you know who. <laughs> so, oops, uh, let's see, anything else I gotta tell you guys about today? Today went pretty quick. I think you did a good job. If anybody's done, you guys can pop on. If you're not done, you can kind of show us the progress that you're making. If you don't want to show your art and you just want to pop on and say hi, that would be great. Uh, again, Rachel will put up a link somewhere. I know she knows she's going to invite you on the screen. We have a little green room down below. We can only have a few people at a time. And then Rachel will pop you up. Please just say, again, turn your volume down on your computer. Don't mute it. And then say where you're from and show your artwork or not show your artwork, show you guys working it, you know, standing at an easel, sitting at a table, laying on the floor, whatever it is, you know, I want to hear from you. So we have Brenda. Hi, Brenda. So whenever Rachel's ready, she's going to start bringing you guys up. 
Hi. This is my flamingo. So William and I will work on getting that table saw out. So you can take it. It's got the legs on it. It has the bad. palm trees next to it. If you can fit a bike in the back <laughs> of your car, you can fit that in there. Good job. Hi. And then you can tell her a name. Um, oh, there you go. Tell her who you are and where you're from. The palm tree's next to it. Uh, nope, nope. That's on the other tab. Just tell her who you are. Um, my name's Dyla and I'm from Toledo. Awesome. Good job. You know what, you guys? I forgot to do. So, and, and again, you can do this. And Rachel, you can pull someone up while I'm doing this. Um, if you guys want to add, I love her her little mohawk on her owl. So, go ahead and talk, and then I'll do, show them. Go ahead. Hi, guys. So I think they muted it. That's why we can't hear them. That looks great. Good job. Okay, Rach, next guy. You guys, so if you want to make feathers, and you don't have to, but you could just take when you're done. So you would do the background first, and then once you're done with the background, you can add like some little wispy lines overlapping the background just to make them look a little, you know, feathery. You could do it up down here where his wings are. You could do it all the way around. So I would do the background first and then go back into it and add some wispy little feathers. If you want. Anybody else, Rach? Go ahead, bring them up. Could you all? Hi. It's not done yet, but this is what I have so far. Great. And this is yesterday's. Oh, beautiful. And I'm from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Thank you so much for doing this. It's so Great. fun. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Oh, you're in the show, guys. <laughs> Hi. 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 Where are you? <laughs> All right, show you where are you guys from? Uh, we're from Pillar, Nebraska, and that's my owl. Ooh. <laughs> and this is my owl. Her name's Snowy Corn. I made it as unicorn theme. I love it. That's creative. <laughs> Both of them. And then. Oh, that's that's it. Say. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you so thank much you. for doing this. Thank, thank you. you. favorite shows ever love sesame street hi this is rachel just a reminder you need to turn your volume down because it makes a really bad noise if you don't thank you <laughs> and her loving kind voice <laughs> hi. Hi. hi frank and talk to me where'd she get that from you hold your deck. Say we love painting with you. We choose. We chose markers today. Hi, this is Rachel. Just a reminder: you need to turn your right. Because it makes a right. really noise. Hi. 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 We're from the Florida Keys. We love your art lessons. They're the best. Thank you. Thank you. We love painting with you. 
Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, I'm I'm Hannah. I'm from Elyria, Ohio. This is my owl. Love it. Hey, thank you. I I just I just wanted to say thank you for doing this. This is so cool. And my favorite artwork has to be the sunset. Oh, beautiful. I love that. Thank That's you awesome. so much. Thank you. Say hi. I wanted to say thank you for doing this. This is so hey. cool. And my favorite artwork has to be the sunset. I love that. Say, um, thank you where so you're from? much. Thank you. North Carolina. I'm from North Carolina. Say, I wanted to say thank you for doing this. this my name's so Macy. Cool. My, my name's Macy. And sunset. I really enjoy it. I love that. Say, um, thank you where so you're from? much. Thank you. North Carolina. Hi. <laughs> Ooh. Well done. Good job. That's Thanks. awesome. Oh, I love that little Hi. I'm from Gretna, Nebraska. Love it. Love your colors. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Love it. Thank you. Thank you. It's so different ones. Hi. Hi. Um, I I like the Starry Night one, and my mother also did this one. Ooh, nice. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Hi. Thank you. Hi, I'm Hi. and I'm from Westchester, Ohio. I haven't finished it, but that's okay. Take your time. I really Thank you. Videos, I do it all the time. Thank you. Hi. Hi, Eva from Ohio, and this is Ellie. Aw, that's cute. Love the beak. You did a really cool beak. Thank you. Jenna's coming up. I think it's thinking. So, anyways, you guys, thanks so much for popping in. And hi. Hi. Thank you so much. <laughs> Doing this, we love it. Yeah. Very nice. Thank, Thank you. So, you guys, I don't know if anybody was able to do a watch party, but if you, if not, maybe you could try it tomorrow. So, again, I've never done it, but someone recommended doing it today. I believe you invite your friends and family through Facebook. I'm also on YouTube at Artist at Heart um, Paint Party. So feel free to go to that as well. And uh, if you want, you can rewatch the video. So they are recorded and they're on the Facebook page under videos as well as on YouTube. I highly recommend you subscribe to the YouTube so that if something does happen on the Facebook page, you can always go over to YouTube. Again, it's Artist at Heart Paint Party. So I think Sean wants to come. Hi, Sean. Is that Sean? Hi. Okay, so you guys, one more time. Thank you. We got to turn the volume. Down. Can you hear us? Turn the volume down, but so that we can hear you though. Don't mute it. Can you hear me? Uh, Hi. Here's my. Oh, there's the bow. Love it. So cute. I love the rainbow colors. Oh my gosh, so cute. Nice job. 
It's you. Hi. Hi. I'm Reagan from Florida. Nice. Let's see what you're working on. Oh, that looks great. Thank you. Thanks for doing it. Every day, right? You've been doing this every day. Yeah. I've been seeing it. Looking I love at it. it. Thank you. Hi. 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 We're the Richardsons and we're from North Carolina. Oh, that looks great. <laughs> Thank you for having fun. Good. Thank you guys so much. Bye, guys. <laughs> Amelia, are you there? Amelia. Yeah. Hi, I can't see you. We yeah. see your picture. Is that okay? Is that what you want? Mm hmm. Okay, you want to talk to us? Yeah, can I do it? You can yeah, talk. Can. We can't. We can't see your picture. That's weird. All we see is your little photo of your family. Um. Hi, this is Rachel again. On the bottom, there's a little thing that says Start Cam. If you want to see if you can hit that, it might be red right now. I don't, I, I don't know where it, that is, but. Okay. We're all learning together, right? Like I said, I have, it's a trial and error. It means you try it and you may have an error, which I have done for the last week and a half and we're learning as we go. So how many times I put the link on the wrong place and then no one could find it. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting better. Doesn't mean it won't happen again. It just means I'm getting a little bit better at it. So. Uh, I know someone says practice makes perfect. I still haven't perfected too much. I'll have to tell you, I'm still practicing. Practice, 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 practice. So uh, we'll give Amelia like a second and or two and see if she can get it. And if not, we'll do it again tomorrow. So don't forget, tomorrow we're going to do Monet's Bridge. Do you have to? No. You could, again, you could just do water with a shark and a mermaid and, uh, you know, anything you want. Bring any supplies you have. And I will post it once we're done here. I'll post the link. It'll be on the Facebook page. We'll be live again tomorrow at noon, Eastern Standard Time. And uh, please invite your family and your friends. Try to do a watch party and share the link with people so that it spreads. I really appreciate it. Pay it forward. Be kind to someone. Oh, we have Cecilia. Cecilia's there. Hi, girls. Oh, oh she's from, drinking. Hi, we're from South Bend, Indiana. And this is mine. And then this is my sister, Charlotte's. It's supposed to be a clown. Yep, she did a clown and I did a princess. Can you scoot the, over a little? I can't see hers. You want to show it? Oh, I love it. <laughs> that looks like the on the other girl with the, with the rainbow colors. I love rainbow. it. Thank you. No problem. Have a nice day. You're awesome. Yeah, you Thank you. All right. Oh. Oh, oh there. <laughs> How's it going, Amelia? I can't figure it out, but um, I'm you know. from Baldwinsville, New York, and my favorite picture is the owl. Oh, good. That's awesome. There we go. Hi. Me and my sister, we right. made no. these. How's it going, Amelia? <laughs> I can't figure it out. But they look great. Thank you, guys. Hi. Me and my sister, we right. made no. these. You're not in yet. How's it going, Amelia? I can't I don't even know, but they look great. Thank you, guys. Julie's got it too. Hmm. I can't help you guys. I'm not doing it. Maybe you in the um, chat room you can say, "Hey, what am I doing wrong?" And someone can help you. Because you guys are the ones doing it. I'm not. So ask each other in the when you're chatting away over there. Hi. Very nice. Good job. Julie's got it. Now you're on. 
I can't Hi. Because I'm not doing it. Maybe you in the um, oh, chat room, you can say, hey, what am I doing wrong? And someone can help you. Because you guys are the ones doing it. I'm not. So ask each other in the, when you're chatting away over there. Hi. My name's Kara. Very nice. And I'm Madeline. Put it down so she can see. Good job. There we go. All right. Are you girls getting along? We're from Finley. Hi. Are you getting along? See, it's delayed. I'm not used to that. So, you guys, I have two sisters. I have a little sister, Darcy, who's an adult. And then I have an older sister. That makes me the middle one. So, you know what they say about the middle kid? They're the best. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> so, I'm not used to that. So you guys, I have two sisters. I have a little sister, Darcy, who's an adult. And then I have an older sister. That makes me the middle one. So you know what they say about the middle kid? They're the best. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Maybe not. Look at how cute the bow is, and it matches the scarf. Hi. Hi, this is Nana from Pembroke. I virtually paint with my granddaughters every day, Olivia and Isabella. My owl's name is Olivia. Beautiful. Thank you. stuff you guys that was a, a great way to end because i'm going to ball my eyes out and this mascara is not waterproof so i will see you guys tomorrow same time same place i thought i could not cry today but it just <laughs> rachel you could end the broadcast i'll see you guys later upload your pictures under check-in if you can okay thank you bye